February 7, 2007. I want to um, talk a little bit about meditation. I've been interested in meditation for quite a long time. I, I, um, I think about 1980, I read some very basic instructions for performing meditation and attempted to carry them out with varying degrees of success for the next 20 years. Um, I have to say that during that 20 years, there were several years when I didn't meditate at all, and then there were other times when I would meditate sort of you know, once a week, but it rarely got beyond that. Um, and then in the year 2000, I was uh, very fortunate to take a 10-day course uh, led by a Mr. Goenka in Vipassana meditation. And that 10-day course was really essential, I think, for my the development of my own practice. And I'm happy to say that since I took that course, uh, I've meditated pretty much on a daily basis. In fact, for a couple of years, two hours a day. And at the moment, I meditate daily. There was a period of several months when I was living in a homeless shelter where meditation was basically impossible. But outside of that time, um, since I took the Vipassana training, I've been a pretty regular meditator. And I've found it to be of enormous benefit. And some of my friends have asked me, well, you know, can you teach me how to do it? Well, the short answer is no. If you actually want to learn how to meditate, then I think you should contact the Vipassana organization and find the very first 10-day course that you can possibly get yourself into and register for it. There's no charge for the course. And um, just imagine if you had to you know, go in a hospital for important surgery, you'd have to block out 10 days of your life for which there would be no other, nothing else you, for which you would be available during that time. And if you treat the Vipassana meditation training like that, then you'll be able to manage your life around it. Just reschedule what you need to reschedule and get in the course. If you plan to pursue the path of meditation. And if you don't, well then, you know, you might as well turn off now. Um, however, having said that, m people don't want to enroll themselves in a 10-day course without, you know, having any idea about what they're getting themselves into. And, you know, beyond the rules, you know, the sort of particles of how it's all managed physically, which are explained in detail by the Vipassana organization, and you don't need me to re repeat that, um, there is actually the process of meditation itself. And so just in order to give you an idea of what that involves, um, I thought probably the best thing, the best way I could communicate that would be for you to sit in meditation while I guide you through the process insofar as I'm capable of doing that. And I, I must say, with, with great reservations do I do this because I'm not Mr. Goenka. And uh, I don't consider myself qualified to teach meditation to anyone. I'm happy to teach yoga, but I'm not qualified to teach medica meditation. And so whatever you learn from this, please be aware it is not by any means the whole picture. But having you know, expressed those reservations, um, if you would now um, get comfortable into a sitting position, um, cross-legged on a cushion on the floor is ideal. If you can't handle that, you could lean your back up against a wall while sitting on a cushion. If you know, you could sit in a straight back chair, but whatever position you're in, you need to be as comfortable as you can be with your back straight. And close your eyes and just allow your breathing to become more shallow and just completely relax. 
Breathe in and out through the nostrils. And now, as you're doing that, focus your attention on the breath. Feel the breath going into the nostrils and then out from the nostrils. Don't bother following it through into your chest. Or just keep your attention on your nostrils. Just feel the air going in and the air coming out. Now, after a while, you might begin to notice that air goes in one nostril and out the other nostril. Or you may notice the air comes in both nostrils and out both nostrils. Or you may notice that it comes in one nostril and out of the same nostril. It's different for different people. It doesn't matter. There's no correct way to do it. Just do it the way that you do it. And just focus your attention on what's actually happening. The breath passing in through the nostrils and out through the nostrils. Now, if you can, try and feel the area just on your upper lip, just below the nostrils. And see if you can feel the air passing over that area of skin. You might notice that, if you can feel it at all, that the air passing into the nostrils is a little cooler than the air that comes out. Then again, you may not notice that. If you're in a particularly warm place when you're doing this, you might find the opposite is true. But the important thing is to hone your, s your attention down onto the very tiniest part of the body where you can feel a sensation. And the sensation is that of the air passing into the nostrils and out through the nostrils. When you're in a Vipassana 10-day course, you do this process for three days, for 12 hours. And by the end of that time, your attention is so focused and so centered that the very tiniest area of flesh under the nose, you can feel the air passing over it in one direction and then the other direction. And this process is called Anapana meditation. And it has many functions, one of which is to train your attention to focus down to a very fine level and to hold your attention at that very fine level of sensitivity. And once you've achieved this sensitizing of your capabilities, you then pass on for the next seven days, you practice the Vipassana meditation. And Vipassana meditation is practiced as follows. If you move your attention from the area below the nostrils to the very top of your head, to that place that's the last place that becomes hard on a baby's skull, that soft spot at the top, try and get your attention up there and feel what's going on on the surface of your skin in that area. And slowly expand the area that your attention is focused on, on the top of the skull. And then start moving your attention around so that you cover the whole of the scalp. And then pass your attention through the forehead. And then round the head over the top of the ears, round the back of the skull. Pass your attention through your eyes, cheeks, back of the neck, nose, mouth, chin, and then down your neck and across to the left shoulder. And then pass your attention down the left arm and just be feeling what's actually there. What's going on on your skin? Does it feel hot? Does it feel cold? Is there an itching sensation? Does it feel moist? 
Whatever is there, that's what you want to notice. Just keep, keep in touch with reality. Keep your eyes closed. Allow your breathing to just breathe naturally and pass your attention down all the way, down to your wrist, into the palm of your hand, and out to the tips of your fingers. But don't go any further than the boundary of your skin. Just feel what's going on in that part of your body. And then bring your attention back to the right shoulder. And pass your attention down through your right arm, all the way down to the wrist, and then the hand, and then the fingers. Take your time. This is Vipassana meditation. And this is a very old technique. It was the technique most taught by Gautama the Buddha 2,500 years ago. But it was old a long time before that. And once you've passed your attention all the way down to your fingers, then come back up to the chest and the shoulder area and pass your attention down through the abdomen. Just feel what's going on on the surface of the skin. Pass your attention around and around to the back, under the armpits, across the front of the chest, around the back, going lower each time you go around. And in this way, bring your attention all the way down, all the way down to where you're sitting. And then pass your attention through your legs down to the toes in the same way that I described for the arms. Just allow your attention to go down the thighs. Feel any sensation that's there on the skin. There may be places where you don't feel anything at all. When that happens, just hold on that spot for a moment. See if that changes. See if you do start to feel a sensation. There may be points where you feel a great tension or, or actual physical pain. It's just a sensation. It's just a sensation. Don't give it any special attention. Just notice that it's there and pass on. And go all the way down through the knees, down the calves and the shins, to your ankle, and then around the heel, and along the foot, along the sole of the foot, along the top of the foot, until you get to the toes. And then just feel what's going on on the surface of the skin on each of your toes. And then come back and repeat the process with your other leg. And when you've finished, when you've reached the toes, then starting at the toes, come all the way back up. Repeat the entire process in reverse order until your attention is once again on the top of your head. And then repeat the entire process again. From the top of the head to the tip of the toes. From the tips of the toes to the top of the head. And in the Vipassana course, you'll essentially do that process for seven days. And then at the end of the seven days, you'll learn a further technique, which is called metta meditation, which is the meditation of loving kindness. And it is a very, very powerful technique that will start to alter the environment around you in very positive and favorable ways. But there's no way I'm going to even attempt to teach you metta meditation. If you really want to meditate, then you should get yourself in a 10-day course. Okay. And that's what I have to say about meditation. Sit there for a while. Repeat that process. <laughs>